Hi guys. Um, so a lot of you have been asking for me to do a tutorial on how I trim a uh, Welsh cock's tail. Um, so here we have Tino. Um, he hasn't been shown since Olympia last season, so in December. And I think I'd given him one tidy up. So his tail's quite long. He's got a bit of growth up the top. Um, but we've got a rough shape to follow. Um, but it still needs doing from scratch. So um, first of all, I am going to spray it through with um, the Alva Dazzle Mane and Tail and Feather Conditioner. Um, it is best for the tail to be dirty, though, so that the rake goes through. If the tail's too clean, um, the top rake will just run through the hair and it won't pull out any of the hair. So, just brush out all the knots. Those are the two tools that I use for trimming the Welsh cob tails. Um, this is a mane and tail rake. I get mine from Clipper Sharp. These come in different um, widths, and I'm pretty sure that this is a medium um, that you can get fine, but that'll take too much hair off. And this is a double sided comb that I've got from Pets at Home. It's got four on, you can see. Um, so it's like a blade, but it's not mega sharp because. We don't want it too sharp for doing the V shape because um, when it's a bit more blunt, it, it does cut the end of the tail better. So, first of all, I usually start on the top of the tail and literally I rake down like this, right down the sides, and always take off the excess hair off the rake. So, putting quite a bit of pressure on um, so that you're catching all the hair. Um, and as I said before, Tino has got a rough shape because he was done in December. So this isn't from scratch, um, but it has grown too long. So just keep raking it down. Um, I come down probably about three quarters of the way down the dock. Um, but if you've got a thicker tail, you might need to pull more out. Um, right, so I break the tail now at the top. So as you can see, um, it's nicely neat, showing off his hindquarters, and it comes in here. So the next part to do is the length of the tail. And as you can see, his tail is quite long for a D. One thing to be careful of is, though, is make sure that you lift the tail up and see where you actually are going to want it to finish. I like my V to start from the hocks, really, and come below the hocks, so I would never have it right up short. Um, so just bear in mind that when you take the length off, they are going to carry their tail, and some of them can carry it right up here. So just always start gently, um, then watch someone ride the horse or lead it up and down, and then go from there. So I always fluff the tail out so that you can get a good edge. And I just take a strand from the outside, taking my comb, and I literally pull down like this. Um, I have been doing this for many, many years. So obviously I am quite quick at it, and I just know which bits to grab. Um, so what we're wanting is we're wanting it in a V. So we want the side bit shorter, and then it graduates down. Um, bearing in mind, I know how short to take his, and I like, like I said, I like it up by the hocks. But you might just want to start your V off a bit more gradual. Um, so as you can see, I'm just taking off bits of the tail, keep fluffing it back up, bits from this side, and just keep pulling down. So you're not wanting to cut it off straight, you pull down with this. So, as you're doing this, always take a step back and have a look at the shape and make sure you're not going too short and just shake the tail, make sure there's no long bits that we've missed um, and keep brushing the tail out to make sure we're getting the right shape. So I've taken off quite a bit of length there, but there's still a bit there in the middle that I'm not quite happy with. So these bits here, they're still a bit too long. And so here we have Tino's finished tail. Um, it's nice and tapered in here. 
other way, they call it. Um, then we've got a bit of volume going out into a nice V. Um, and you can see when he lifts his tail, which he probably would have it about here, that's just about the right length. 